Manuel. Hey, Pam, Anton, uh, Casey, thank you so much for your time today. Congratulations on a series that I could not stop watching. Oh, great. Uh, how, yeah, did love that. how far did you get? Yeah, no, you guys did fantastic. And actually, that's one of the things I want to talk about it is, is the pacing of it. Because every time I thought I was getting comfortable, you guys made sure I got right back to the edge of my seat. Tell, mm-hmm. tell me uh, how easy or difficult it is to, to develop a series like that. That was the goal. Um, I've been in the television business a long time and I it's what we call gasp moments where you go, <gasps> and that was the requirement for every writer to write a moment where the audience would go, what? And talk back to your television. It's talk back to your television TV. That's what the goal is. And it was, it was it, we made a concerted effort, myself as a developer and a creator and the writer's room. Um, and then we passed it on to Anton to make it look, you know, like it, like it read. You know? Yeah, and that was a big part for me. You know, again, uh, Pam did a, she did an excellent job of sort of, you know, laying the foundation, painting a picture, you know, and that's, as, as a director, that's what we do. We take the script and, you know, it's our job to then bring it to life and, and, and execute this. And um, that was one of the things that really drew me into it. It was evident on the page that this was something where we can make it cinematic. We can have those moments. We can let moments live and then we can pull you in, you know, and, 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 you know, obviously it was a conscious effort. Um, Pam and I had a lot of conversations on about it early on and it was a conscious effort in how I approached the filmmaking of it and how we approach the editing of it to have those moments. So um, I'm very grateful that, that that translated. Yeah, very, very well. Casey, can you tell me, is, did you guys already have cast me- uh, actors and actresses in mind for this? Because it seemed like the roles were really, really spot on as far as how the chemistry came together. No, we did not. Um, we very much went through a, a casting process and finding the role of JC, we knew it was just going to be of the utmost importance because this show lives on her head and shoulders. And and it's such a, a challenging role because she needs to be a, a believable as a coach, but also um, have these moments of vulnerability and you want to like root for her while she's doing some crazy things. Um, And then also just like finding all of the girls was like such an exciting challenge to bring all these like fresh new faces um, to the screen. But then again, with we've got like with Josh and Ian and Lyric, a bunch of just amazing actors that again, were just, you know, very drawn to the script and material. And, um, you know, I think we found a really great team. Yeah, it's it's, uh, just done very, very well. Uh, Can you you tell me a little bit about, you know, what we're going to see as far as the, the college aspect of it. Some of the things that sometimes go you know, under the rug or get hushed, which is a very, very important part of the series. Uh, I guess I know we can't sp- speak specifics because we want everybody to enjoy it, but just in an overall nature. Well, you're just seeing a world that isn't often shown on television and not just we're on a college campus, the politics of college campuses the money making aspects of college, you know, um, athletics, um, how uh, a college campus is a world onto its own when it comes to policing itself. Those are some of the big highlights that I wanted to emphasize as a writer and a creator. Can you uh, tell me a little bit, uh, talk about one of the themes I talked to Rose about, self-preservation. And well, some of the things I, I noticed was some of the people in the series are doing it to keep their position, their the power or their status, while others are doing it to survive. Uh, can, can you talk a little bit about uh, developing that and, and, and how well that's translated in the series? Uh, yeah, it, it was just important that everybody was challenged. Every character was challenged. Um, you guys chime in because we all sort of... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm, I'll just together, say, really. I think I think I think that is a a a great you know um, I, I think that it, everyone in the care everyone in the cast all the characters in the, in the series all have their own flaws and their own redemption and with that that's what feels real about it right like mm-hmm. you said everyone has perseverance for their own reasons and, and and isn't that what we all have as people just in society everyone has their own agenda their own goals and it just depends on what your circumstances and your environment are but most people are trying you know to either hold on or get ahead or 
find a way to succeed or survive. And um, and that's what's brilliant about the series is that it really does touch on so many different dynamics socially and economically um, that then, you know, you really see these people respond in the way that 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 their environment has affected them. All right. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Like I said, it was a series that I could not stop watching. Congratulations on it. And I hope to see you all again. Thanks. Tell all your friends. Yeah. Take care. Yeah. Get them watching it. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> all right. Thanks.